another DSR Farms video and today we've got some rabbit and we're gonna cook it in the crock pot and just get into it. Alright so I'm gonna start off with a, a big pile of mushrooms and then I've got three cloves of garlic here too. I'm just gonna dump that in the bottom of my crock pot. And then I'm just gonna spread this out over the bottom. So rabbit's super lean, and to me it's somewhere between chicken and turkey, uh, and you can look at it and tell it's all white meat, you know, just like chicken would be. And then, so what I'm going to do is just a really simple like brine rub thing. You kind of treat it, like I said, just like chicken or turkey. I've got some salt, some garlic powder, some Cajun seasoning, and some black pepper. I'm just going to mix that up and rub all over this. Okay, we're just going to sprinkle this all over and get it good and incorporated inside and out. All right, so that's pretty well covered and then I got inside the cavity pretty well too. We're just gonna set that right on top of our mushrooms and garlic. And then to that, I'm just gonna dump one can of cream of chicken soup in on top of this. And I'm gonna actually keep this in the fridge overnight and then put it on as I go to work tomorrow. I'm going to cut these pieces out and put them on my What about 450 degrees for 12 minutes instead? Actually cooked for about 10 hours while I was at work. Nobody was here to cut it off. I was worried that it was gonna dry out, but I've already tasted it and it's, it's really, really good. Um, the mushrooms release like a ton of water, is, or I guess it's water, mushroom juice, whatever you wanna call it. And then so does the rabbit, it releases a little bit. So it's fine to put that whole can of condensed soup in there with no moisture, because there's gonna be plenty when it's done. But I'm just gonna get this out and kind of slice it up. Maybe it may fall apart on me. We'll see what happens. It's going to. Man, I mean that is as tender as it gets right there. And then I'm just gonna stir this up with the mushrooms and stuff. And I've got a slotted spoon. Oh, I did want to say, everybody, look how great those biscuits that Charlie made came out. Those look as good as any I've made. I'm super excited about those. And then I'm just going to get a big spoon of these mushrooms. And 
and then get to slicing on this wrap. So I'm just going to take this back leg off because uh, I cooked it and I'm calling the back leg on it. So it's going to be just very similar to a chicken leg and thigh. It's just going to peel right out. I'm going to plate that up just like that. Hope y'all enjoyed.